one back to the hotel. They pulled this trick so they'd have time to get rid of the badge. And their trick worked. We'll just have to wait. Roy is right. He's guessed exactly what is in the minds of the two outlaws. Even at this minute, they're meeting in the back room of Don Wallace's place, making important decisions. We should never have kept the badge, Bruce, or the papers either. I know we shouldn't, but I thought they might come in handy again sometime. Those hombres will be back. From what I hear about Rogers, he never gives up. Mm, we'll get rid of the badge and the papers tonight. We'll take them out and put them with the guy who had them before we did. The lawman who was killed, sure. Why, that'll clear us, too, in case anybody ever finds him. Well, stick the badge and the papers here in the safe till after we're closed tonight. We'll come back when everybody in town is asleep, about midnight, say. We'll get rid of them then. A few hours later, Roy is free on bail. He and Jonah are in the hotel lobby with Dale, making plans for their next move. Yeah, where'd that, where'd that lapdog hound called Sheriff go? The sheriff is riding towards Squaw City, looking for the trail of Don Wallace and the lawman who disappeared with him. Yeah, just use that as an excuse, because he thought I was going home to get my saber. Tell you the truth, I'm kind of glad he's gone. Oh, afraid I'd slash him to pieces, huh? No, but uh, I figure on looking for that badge, and he, he might not like the way I go about it. Won't uh, Fred Pappert and Les Bruce have thrown it away by now, Roy? Well, maybe not. They've probably hidden it in Don Wallace's place somewhere. A badge can be useful to outlaws. Yeah, but it'll be pretty hard to get at it there. The place always has a lot of men hanging around. Well, not after midnight. Roy, you're not going to break in, are you? Oh, Roy, that's burglary. You're playing right into that old shuck brain sheriff's hands. Are you afraid, Jonah? No, only for you, Roy. I just don't want nothing to happen to you. Not for my own sake, neither, but, but for the sake of all the folks that need you and the folks who look up to you. Well, thanks, Jonah. Roy, I don't believe you've ever had a nicer compliment. <laughs> we'll get this job done and safely, too. Uh, what if we do have to take a chance? It's worth a chance to make a wrong right. <laughs> darkness of midnight settles over Paradise Valley. Two men on horseback come through the alley behind the old Wallace place. Both are alert and watchful. When they arrive at the back door, they stop, get off their horses. They are Roy Rogers and Jonah Wild. The neighborhood is awesomely quiet. They walk to the door, stand for a moment to reassure themselves. We're all right, Jonah. Yes, I hope Dale's out front like she's supposed to be, ready to whistle if anybody comes up. She is. Let's force this door. Roy has a small steel bar in his hand. He inserts it between the door and the jam beside the lock. He pries. The door opens. Come on, Jonah. Better shut the door, though, in case somebody comes through the alley. Yeah. You know, I used to do lots of this kind of work when I was a scout for the Army and after the Indians. Mm. Indians. Indians didn't have no squeaking hinges on their doors, though. The safe. We'll look there first. It's the most likely place. Here we are. I'll see if I can work the lock on the safe. Uh-huh. It kind of makes goosebumps go up and down my spine. On the inside, that is. Well, uh, just think about that turkey you're going to send to General Kenneth Rowe. Hey, Listen. <laughs> Outside, at the front of the building, Dale whistles the warning signal to Roy and Jonah. As she does so, the front door is opening. And a man is entering. No, two men. Fred Pappert and Les Bruce. Roy and Jonah get back out of sight. All right, let's make this fast, Fred. It won't take long. Yeah, this won't, maybe. we still got plenty more to do before the sun comes up. Remember the combination of the safe without looking it up? Sure, sure. Let's go to work, then. Roy and Jonah crouched in the shadows, listen and watch, without moving a muscle while the two outlaws turn the knob that will unlock the safe. They could spring the outlaws now, beat them here in the dark. But Roy has a bigger purpose in view. The door to the safe opens. Uh, There. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, here's the papers. How about the badge? I'm looking for it. Yeah, here it is. Good. In just a minute till I get this closed. Yeah. yeah. Now, let's go. Yeah. Once this is done, I'll have a big load off my mind. Yeah, we got the right place to put them anyhow. Nobody will ever blame us in case the guy is wrong. Come on, Roy. Come on. Go ahead, Jonah. Let him get on past Dale before we move. 
Then we'll follow and find out where they got that badge in the first place and what they're using it for. Say, friends, are you hankering for something different for breakfast? Something that'll perk up the old appetite, send you off singing? Then you want crinkles. Crinkles, Post's new rice cereal that's sugar-coated. Yes, for a breakfast treat, you can't beat rice. And candy-kissed rice is twice as nice. With crinkles heaped high and handsome in your breakfast bowl, you just add milk or cream. No sugar needed. Mmm, toasted rice in sugar and honey. Everyone who tries crinkles loves them. For snacks, too. Just grab a handful anytime you want. Like this little song says. You will have a circus eagle crinkle. Sugar-coated cereal crinkle. Candy-kissed rice, it's twice as nice. Yeah. Candy-kissed rice, it's twice as nice. So you will have a circus eagle crinkle. So, friends, why don't you try Post's new crinkles right away quick? Dale? Here I am, Roy. Are you okay? That's Bruce and Fred. They got the badge and some papers. We're trailing them, Dale. Look and see which direction they take, then ride for the sheriff's house. See if he's home yet. All right, Roy. Tell him to trail us. His authority may come in handy before this night's over. Roy and Jonah follow some distance behind the two outlaws, careful always to keep out of sight and out of sound. The moon is in the last quarter, and sometimes they have trouble keeping on the trail. But eventually, Bruce and Papert lead them to the cliff directly below High Point Ridge. Easy trigger. Quiet there, fellow. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Roy, can you see the renegades now? Yeah, they're digging. Yeah, they come a mighty long way just to dig a hole and bury a badge. If that's what they're doing. Mm, and I wish they'd hustle. See, I wish they'd hustle. They're near quarter after one. Gulp and Glory used to call at the ranch to see me at 7.30. I know. Of course, it'll probably be all right. She was always a great one for setting. She was, eh? Yeah. Used to sit on a log with the general and look up into his face for hours. <laughs> and the general would be gazing off towards the horizon with his hand stuck in his shirt. Yeah, Roy, he was a great one for gazing off toward the sunset, the general was. Never moving for all the long stretch. Hey, did you see that? Yeah, I saw it, Jonah. He threw the badge and some papers into the hole. Now's the time we make our move. Roy and Jonah leap toward the two outlaws. <laughs> Bruce and Capper are paralyzed with fear for a moment, then Bruce recovers. <laughs> Roy and Jonah are upon them now. Roy swings at Bruce. Jonah takes on Fred Pappert. The battle is wild, hard, vicious. Both Bruce and Pappert are fighting for their lives, for their freedom. Bruce is down. Now Roy's moved over to help Jonah. And he gets up there. Jonah swings hard. Pappert goes up into the air, then crashes down. Did you get him, Roy? Oh, did we get him. Hey. They not only bit the dust, they got a whole mouthful. Sheriff, I think your search for the missing law officer is over. He seems to have been buried here. Bruce and Pappert killed him, didn't you? No, no, we didn't kill anybody. Where's John Wallace? Did you kill him, too? Say, you'll have to excuse me, Roy, but I've got to get out of here. Now, go ahead, Jonah. That's it, Sheriff. They killed him, and they moved in on his place of business. We'll tell you where Wallace went. He's in Bear City. We got his address. We didn't kill nobody, not even this lawman. An examination will tell us whether you did or not. Let's get the cuffs on and take them back to town, Roy. Sheriff, uh, maybe you'd better take them. Dale and I have a little more spying we want to do tonight. Whoa, 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 Oh, trigger. easy, buttermilk. Wait a minute, Roy. Well, what's the matter? Jonah, look at him. Yeah, looks like he must have lost his best friend. Jonah, is there anything wrong? Uh, oh, what's the trouble, fella? Oh, yeah, that gulp and glory was here and left. Well, she'll be back when you explain what happened. Sure. Yeah. Well, I ain't explaining nothing to that woman. Just looky here. I said, looky here. You know what these things is? What? Bones. Turkey bones. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes, Dale. She cooked the general's turkey. 
She cooked it and ate it herself, right down to the last <laughs> pin feather. Oh, no. The... <laughs> oh, that, that, that gulping glory. Drat her for kingdom come. <laughs> and back again. Dale, it looks as though the Double R Bar Ranch is going to have to make a little contribution here. I should say so. You know, we just can't leave the general without a turkey for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Blue-eyed Sally, she lives way down in Shinbone Alley. The number's on the gate and the number's on the door. The next house over is a grocery store. Now, what do you mean, you're Blue-eyed Sally? I'll kick you in your Shinbone Alley. My number's on the gate and my number's on the door. And I don't live next to no grocery store. Stay all night, stay a little longer. Dance all night, dance a little longer. Pull off your coat, throw it in the corner. Don't see why you don't stay a little longer. Hurry up, boys, and don't be slow. Sift your meal and mix your dough. Stay all night, stay a little longer. Dance all night, dance a little longer. Pull off the coat, throw it in the corner. Don't see why you don't stay a little longer. This is Roy Rogers saying to all of you, from all of us, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. The Roy Rogers Show is brought to you by Post Serials each week at this same time with the Whippoorwills, Forrest Lewis, Dale Evans, and the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. An Art Brush production transcribed, directed by Tom Hargis, script by Ray Wilson, music by Milton Charles. Featured in today's cast were Frank Hemingway, Herb Butterfield, Bob Griffin, and Joe Duvall. This is Art Ballinger speaking for P.O.S.T. Post Serials. Happy trails to you Until we meet again Happy trails to you Keep smiling until then Who cares about the clouds if we're together Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather Happy trails.